But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone. A drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. All right. Prep him. Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. I have to knock he's not him gonna out. Turn in peacefully, but we need him alive. So I guess you're gonna have to play this one macho and knock him out. One of our guys will then just happen to stumble hmm. upon him. You know, serendipity. Yeah, sure. Completely lucky. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? Information, drugs, weapons. Basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. Alright, locate it. Okay. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got nope. that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cache is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Uh. It's shit easier to handle on my side. Okay, let's do this. You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Remain Excellent. undetected. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. Alright. So we got a whole laundry list of things to do, most of which are in there. So what I'm probably going to do first... Is not do that. What I'm probably going to do first... Cloak and daggers. I can meet with O'Malley... Locate his apartment near Brooklyn Court. Which means let me look at the map. That's Derelict Row. What else is there? The Chiron Building. Let's meet with O'Malley. Locate O'Malley's apartment is over here. Where's the other one? Oh yeah, this area you can't go to yet. This is later in the game. That's what's blocked off. Alright, so I need to go actually back down. Back down and through there. There you go. I just don't think I can get out through that because I don't have the ability to push heavy stuff. He's in the same building? Oh, okay. Let's find his apartment then. By at least one piece of incriminating evidence. Not a newspaper. It's gonna be back here. This whole place is set to blow. Let me save first. 
<laughs> Let me save. I don't know how the mines work in this game. Can you disarm them? I don't know. Is it like Fallout where you can disarm a mine and, you know, do all that other stuff? Or is it just going to blow up in my face when I come near it? Excellent. Well, there's a weapon shipment. Crossbow arrows. A package of drugs. Security rating one. Fairly cut and dry. There you go. Access Sensitive range. data. Oh, 25 experience. Oh, 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 two. Sam fucked up. Said there was no risk. We went straight to Big Ben's corner and iced him in the middle of the goddamn street. He said it was deserted, but I've heard there's some of my personal channels that a local dealer might have witnessed it. Rise of PMCs. Alright, cool. Since, you know, the dude mined his own room. But yeah, that was the other apartment I was trying to get into earlier, so it's a good thing I came back here for this quest, because I actually found it. So now I won't have to do it. This was the clinic. All right, so that's part one. Part two is sneaking into the DRB, but here's the thing. I can't get in there s stealthily without using the Icarus system. So I can't do that. There's no way I'm going to be able to get in there stealthily and not drop dead instantly. So I might have boned myself by not, uh, And not taking more care with my money, because now I, there's, there's really no more money that I can get. To buy the first Praxis point, that I'd have to level up anyway, so I have to kind of do this one. Meet with him. to go around the long way though because I don't I can't push that out the way Yeah, there's no way I could get in there. I mean, what I'd like to be able to do is launch myself across the gap, so, uh, so that way I can just, you know, get into that building, but that won't be, I won't be able to do that. So what I have to settle for is dropping down and then doing it the hard way. Yeah, I can't move heavy stuff, so I gotta run through here. here real quick. Is 
Thankfully, I did not have to murder every police officer in Detroit. I was just able to talk my way in and get clearance. Although, obviously, murdering them as benefits, you know what I mean? You can loot the place freely. Something that I, I still can't do. Get all the experience, all the everything. Alright. Oh shit, let me use the ladder. Let me avoid 49 points of damage from a 5 foot fall. There he is. Yes. May I help you? Actually, I've been told by a mutual acquaintance that it might be the other way around. Were you followed? Hmm. By a clown and now I'll be professional. I'm a professional. I know how things work. So if we can just skip Cloak and Dagger 101. Well, you certainly look the part. Now let's see how well you can play it. So what is it you need? Straight to business. A rare quality these days. <laughs> Tell me, are you familiar with local gangs? More than enough to get by. Perfect. Now I warn you, this is not the cleanest of work, but your efforts will be well compensated. An All associate right. of mine will leave a package for you in an alley on Grand River Road. You will retrieve this package and then use it to deal with a problem of mine. Permanently. Who's the target? Someone who won't be missed, I assure you. A gang alpha. Goes He's by the pure name alpha. T. Hangs around in an apartment near Earl's Court. It's not likely that he'll be alone. Just as it's not likely the people keeping him company will be of the pleasant sort. You can't miss him. He's got prominent and rather tasteless augmentations to his face and arms. You're telling me you went through all this trouble to hire me just so I can eliminate a banger? That yep. would be a tad overkill, I admit. No, eliminating the target with the weapon provided to you is only the first part of your assignment. Once you've dealt with Double T, I need you to sneak into Derelict Row and plant the murder weapon among the... Everybody needs me to sneak into this place Unnoticed. I can't sneak into. Kill a member of the Motor City Bangers, then plant the murder weapon in the rival gang's weapon stash. You're trying to start a war. Hopefully. So what's the plan? You make a call and rat one of the bangers out? Then the DRBs retaliate and so on and so forth until they wipe themselves out? Pretty much. What about innocent casualties? These thugs aren't exactly expert <laughs> marksmen. And it's Think pretty he hard cares? to aim from the window of a moving car. What could be worth such a risk? I won't discuss my motives with you. I hired you to do a job. Just do it. Oh, I, I can just leave. Uh, I don't know if I can do it on him. He seems like an alpha. You obviously want this done quick and done well. I respect that. All I'm asking for is half the payment in advance as a gesture of goodwill. He's gonna laugh his, his ass off. You can't afford to be careless. You've got guts. I'll give you that. <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. There you go. I got a thousand credits. Sweet. Just for talking to him. Yeah, the only way out is back this way. Alright, good. So I got half of it in advance. This is all leading up to this one big part of the game where I sneak into Derelict Row. Oh shit. I can punch through this. Boom! Told you. You can do that in this game. 